Hello guys and welcome back to another weekly check-in video. I'm so excited that I'm actually keeping up with my budgeting videos and here with another weekly check-in. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. I have my weekly check-in spread right here that I set up with you guys last week and we are going to be checking in for week two like I mentioned. So that is going to be from March 8th until the 14th. So from the Friday until last Thursday. And I really have been enjoying ending right before the Friday. And so I'm going to write out my the categories that I like to weekly check in for, which are groceries, eating out, gas for our cars, household, I've always had our household and our groceries category separated, but I have seen that quite a few people like to combine those together. Personally, I don't know if I would be doing that, but definitely let me know in the comments down below if you have those categories separated or together, because a lot of the times I do purchase both things in one trip, like when I go to Target or even grocery stores, but I always had those separated. We have beauty, our category for our baby, which he's turning eight months pretty soon. I can't believe that. And then we like to have a category for any unbudgeted expenses that we don't account for. Now this section is for any money that we're adding into our categories, which we don't this week. We only do that on the weeks that Victor gets paid. So I'm just going to write little dashes or I can make like a whole line under there. It really doesn't matter. But as you guys can see last week, we were already over for household. I would say just because we do half of the amount in the beginning of the month, but that really wasn't the case. It had to do with just us not budgeting enough for the category because this is our first month back into budgeting and we're really just going to have to guess what the perfect amount for us will be. Sometimes it won't even be perfect because we did have to buy some things this week, which I'll mention in a second once we get to laying down our budget expense stickers, but let's just start with that. First expense that I have here, which I already have all of my expense trackers all filled out, so that's great. So first expense that we have on the 8th is from our eating out and our household envelope. We went to Home Depot this day and it's funny because we needed to get some things for some final touches that the house needs and we had a gift card that victor's cousin um gave us when they came over and we were like oh my god like we're not even, we're not going to have to spend so much on home depot because we have a gift card but we ended up buying a light fixture for our living room which i wish i could show you guys what the light fixture looked before it was like really old not gonna lie almost falling apart so we really needed a new one and we didn't end up spending 48.95 aside from the gift card which we were just shocked because we were like what i thought we weren't going to have to really spend anything but we did so we took that out of household and then we spent 19.35 from 7-eleven i believe this was the night that um victor's brother brian and his girlfriend lexi came over for like a game night so we did get some drinks i believe that day so that was 1935 and we took that out of eating out then the next expense that we have was on the 10th so nothing on the 9th we actually i think we cooked from home on the 10th we pumped gas i believe this was from my car or victor's car that was 49.24 then on the 11th we had two expenses one was for groceries we went to food for less and i believe i filmed this so definitely go check out i've been uploading weekly grocery runs and like meal planning and other clips of me making the meal so definitely check those videos out so that was 135.84 and then we did also buy baby's formula and we got him some little puffs, which this was, this was the first time that we got him those. And he likes them, I think. <laughs> We're working through that. So that was on the 11th. Then the next expense that we have is for gas. And this was of $32.49. We also had my student loans payment due on the 12th there. 
And last but not least, I have an expense on the 14th, I believe. Yes, for Aldi. We completely forgot. What did we forget? We forgot to buy limes for our lime cilantro chicken that we were going to make. So we bought that. And then I ended up buying a pizza from Aldi because it was pie day. So we ended up eating that instead. But I did want to mention that I'm most likely going to be buying my groceries from Aldi this week. So definitely stay tuned. I know it is very inexpensive there and I want to give it a shot for this week. And now before I move on, I'm going to lay down my no spend sticker on the 9th. And I think that's pretty much it because we have an expense every other day or a bill, which I don't count that as a no spend day because we are spending money, even though it's towards debt, but... That's how I've always done it. So we're just gonna keep it like that. And now we can... Okay, so now we can get started. Let's go ahead and start with groceries. We have two amounts. One for Food for Less here, and then one for Aldi. So in total, we spent $146.96, which was more than last week. So we did have $113.28 left over. So we are over for these two weeks, but not for the month. So that means that we are over by $33.68. Now, as you guys can see, this was for half of the amount we budgeted for the month, which was $500. So next week when we add money, because Victor gets paid on the 15th, this number is not going to be over. So it's also good to know as in weeks if maybe we should put more money towards groceries for the whole month. So it all just makes sense. In the past, I have done it where I would use stuff my envelopes once a month in the beginning of the month. And that was kind of like the perfect budget that I set out for myself. But of course, that's not how we're living currently. It's good to see these numbers and kind of get an idea of how you can adjust your budget. So I like to do it this way, but of course you can do it whichever way you'd like. Next we have eating out, which we have one expense. We were actually very good about Victor not buying a lunch. So this week I made sure to always have leftovers for Victor to take to work, which we haven't always done in the past. So that was only 19 35 So remaining, we have 90.39. And this might just be a month also where we're over groceries, but we're under eating out, which makes total sense because if you're not eating out, then you're cooking more at home or vice versa. Next, we have gas, which we have two expenses, one of 49.24 and one of 32.49. I'm just going to check these off as I go. I also want to check off my student loan payment and this which I still don't have a sticker for. That was my car insurance. So that was a total of $81.73 for gas which once again we are going to be over for this week because we only had $71.79 so that means that we're over by $9.94 there. Next, we have household. Oh my God, I feel like they're all gonna be over. It's making us look so bad, but this is also the point of a budget to be aware of what you're spending. So not only just setting up the budget, you guys, but really tracking your expenses and being aware and being like, okay, maybe I need to chill on these spending in whichever category it is, or maybe you need more help on some than others. The weekly check-in would bring all of that to light. So that's why I love doing this on a weekly basis. For household, we have one expense of $48.95. And we were already over by $33.84 last week. So that means that we're over by $82.79.
I know for sure I didn't spend any money for beauty. I still have not purchased my conditioner or hair dye. I haven't dyed my hair this month, but I will definitely have an expense for that next week. So, still have $50. There. And last but not least, for baby, because we don't have a budget expense, we have here 40 to 78 for his formula and like his snacks. So 40 78 and we had 40 08. We're over by seven cents. <laughs> Although we didn't have any unbudgeted expenses this week, we were already over by 54 37 so I'm just gonna add this in here and wow that is a lot of red markings a lot of red numbers which makes me a little bit anxious but I know that next week once we add up more money some of these are no longer going to be red others are going to be red still so we'll get to that when we get to that but with that being said that is I think all that I have for this video I believe so. I'm honestly just super happy and proud, not only with creating a budget, but also with tracking our expenses. I know we might not have very many no spend days and we do definitely have way too many red markings here, but I'm so happy for not only me, but for you guys, if you guys have been keeping up with your budget alongside with us, it might not always be pretty. Although these stickers definitely make my day and I love budgeting and how cute everything looks. But of course the actual numbers are not the prettiest thing to see, but it's okay. We're just gonna keep pushing through and eventually we'll get better at this or we'll know how to budget more properly for our new lifestyle. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up as well as subscribe to my channel if you guys are not subscribed already. Let me know in the comments if you guys are over budgeting anything because I feel like it's completely normal, especially with things like moving into a new place and needing stuff like a new light fixture and whatnot. I feel like Things add up so quick when you go to Home Depot for like small stuff. Besides the point, and hopefully I will see you guys on my next video. Bye guys.